Bro, you can't see. Revenge is the method we never step and keep a weapon close. This is their college norm. I look at it like if you see a dude in front of you that has basically the world in his hands and you have an opportunity to play against him, mm -hmm. go at his neck. Word. Yo, what up? Ten. <laughs> yeah, tell <laughs> them where we're going. Two times, we about to go, uh, about to go to my teammate, John James. I call him John John. About to go to his room, have a little chat, show y'all how we living out here as the vets for G League Ignite. <laughs> JJ! Yo, yo. What's up, baby? Yeah. Yo, my bad. We got the cameras out. Just on the rip. You gotta show us the crib, it's though. Cribs. <laughs> Thanks. This is the kitchen. Nothing crazy. Got my vitamins, Gatorade, snacks, water, bananas. Granite countertops. Yeah, you got the granite countertop. <laughs> got the vitamins. Got the game on. We got synergy on. So we learned a little bit. Got the We're watching Basconia. Yeah, watching Basconia. Um, uh, ACB. Uh, it's a two bedroom, right? Yeah, two bedroom. I got recovery stuff. I'm into yoga. I do got the yoga mat. Uh, some stuff for my feet. Uh, foam roller. John's the ultimate professional, y'all. The perfectionist. <laughs> Call Thanks. Him the machine. He got the Norma Tech over there too. I don't know if you see that in the corner. Just got off of that before y'all got here. Nice. Check the views out. You gotta check the views out. Starting to get warm here in Vegas, so the pool will be in effect soon. Okay. Nice little cabana style. Okay. Oh, look who it is! Oh, oh my god. god. This was not planned. Oh! They just come in the room without asking, without knocking a nothing. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at, look at. <laughs> this was not planned. This is just what happens. What you got over there? Little snacks? <laughs> So, what's up, Ron Holland? Nah, Same here with your bathroom. This has been Norris's bathroom the past three days. We got the Epsom salt. Let me get a bag. A whole bag? I'm a real vet, so I get my youngest Epsom salt. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna get a bag with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Epsom salt baths after a hard practice. Uh, okay. Hard game. Playing a lot of minutes right now, so just trying to take care of the body. 50, 50, 90 right now. This guest room. Uh, this is where my kids come when they when they come. Okay. They stay in here. Hold on, show them washer and dryer. You know, washer overseas dryer, we ain't, yeah. we ain't got no dryers overseas. Usually just washers. Uh, <laughs> okay, the walk-in joint. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing in here, but there's some storage stuff right now. But yeah, washer and dryer, that's clutch. Master bedroom. Well, yeah, so you really built for the hoop life. Yeah, you got the yeah, mini hoop right here. Oh, the TV, up. big TV. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got that ball the socks up. Practice my shots when I wake up in the morning. Uh, it's a regular bathroom. Granted, counters again. And I ain't cleaned up too well before y'all got here, but this is basically it. Uh, other washing <laughs> dryer. Walk-in closet Walk -in again. Closet. Oh yeah, nah, this try to start. Yeah, this part is nice. I gave, I would show you my Pumas that Scoop gave me, but I, I let Dink have them for a little bit, so maybe we come through and show you. But shout out to Scoop, looked out for all of us while he was here. Yep. yep. How do you feel like it's compared, like living situation wise, to playing overseas? Um, overseas, man, I had some nice spots that I stayed in, so I can't say that. I had a couple of houses actually. Uh, in France, I had a house. In Spain, in Girona, I had a really nice apartment, kind mm -hmm. of similar to this. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this by far, I was in Westchester for two years in the G League, and that was that was cool. But I think it's the best setup in the G. A few moments later. <laughs> yeah, 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 just come in and make an impact. Uh, so, you know, okay, this guy's just coming in. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is not planned. Oh. This is not planned. This is not planned. <laughs> not, I swear this is not planned. It's planned. the future. This is the biggest part of my job right now. Is to make sure what up, North? When they do that. <laughs> because we only got less than two months with these dudes, and they're going to forget about us probably. So. Oh, my God. Man. We just going to try to reach out. going to get Hollywood on this thing here, John. No, I, I'll start breaking right They're going to be around all the top dogs. They're going to come back. Who's John? They don't care. I'm just looking at it all in right now before it get real. 
and they get big time and forget about me. But no, these these dudes about to reach their dreams soon, and I'm gonna be there this time for a draft night. I didn't go to my draft night. I'm gonna be there for this. So for it's, gonna be, it's gonna be special. They've been working hard, and uh, they're gonna reach their dreams soon. And have Is that how you do it? But <laughs> <laughs> see what we gotta deal with. You see what I'm saying? See, what, see, see what I'm saying? I'm gonna hear two seconds. <laughs> Let me see striker pose. How you do it again? Uh, how you do it? Open the hips a little bit. You feel that yoga? No, I'm good. I'm not doing this. I used to do high yoga with my dad. I got, a, I got a spot up the street. Yeah. What? Yeah. How you doing? What you saying? High yoga with my dad. Nah, I don't. <laughs> 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 Reach it like Tony Allen, man. Midas tried sushi for the first time uh, about four months ago. Catch. Okay. Catch, took him to catch. Food and views. Man. So, he had the time of his life in there. And I will say this. I'm going to say this right now. This is dope. Usually, he down not say something bad. Usually, the older dudes pay for everything. But on this team, these dudes pay for everything, and they won't let us pay. Point the camera here. We got so, nah, I, I never <laughs> they don't never let us pay. They will not you allow. must be doing being some good vets though, Tony. Yeah, they will not allow us. So I will say that on camera, these dudes look out for the vets. It should be the other way around, but we giving it more to them on the court, off the court. But they, they locked in on us, and I appreciate Couldn't it. Agree more. A few minutes later. Oh, my friends, yeah. Kobe put him in the You see what I got sent you? You see it? Did you remember reporting? That day. What? What's going on? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is our 17 year old point guard. This one was I, told, I told him to come here. This one is actually playing. Hey, play the video. Ding, they call you. Ding, they call you Tupac. I didn't know about the Tupac. Keep it clean, though. Play that song you did uh, with. Polish your pistols, prepare for battle, pass the pump. When I get the pop and people is dropping, then they done. Call in the corner and come collect the fucking corpse. He got hit by a killer preoccupied with being boss. Revenge is the method, we never step and keep a weapon close. Adversaries are overdose, over deadly notes. I'm on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is great. Hey, yo. One take, two. One take. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. There you go, Ron. We're not doing that. Yo, were y'all close in Dallas or no? Did y'all get close here? Nah, he almost got whooped when I first hit him. Nah, I wouldn't. Did y'all play against each other out there? Or no? As a matter of fact, I played against Ron at Open Gym. In the eighth grade. That's how that turned out. He was dunking this stuff, but when he came back to the perimeter, boy, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> I was cooking you, Ron. And see the hill, y'all, he ain't gonna remember. See, Ron, Ron played playing against a lot of people. Ron ain't gonna remember. But Ron, he was talking about him. Ron was throwing it off the glass. Ron ain't gonna remember this. Ron don't remember this. Ron was throwing it off the glass. We was at City Hill. Me and you was, we was going there. I swear I was talking to us. He can't run. This is one of the first Now, you ain't want to fight. Him. You ain't want to fight. Him. I did. I don't think I how's <laughs> <laughs> about pizza? The city. Somebody got a, got a billboard. They got a billboard before you came here. Oh, yeah, I Where's see. Dallas? Where's Dallas? How you was acting at Pinson? And how would you act right now if you came back? Um, uh, different. How much uh, was your average? Seventy thousand. <laughs> Seventy. So how much better have you gotten since been in the night? A lot. Um, like. Defense wise, that's right. My PG mindset. No, dude, that's on dude. Uh, oh, you're a point guard. You're a point guard. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a point guard. Oh, a six seven point guard. I'm a six seven point guard. I'm gonna be six eight growing up. What's one important thing John has talked to you about this past year? That you can make a lot of money from doing your doing your thing. <laughs> you. If you on the right path, and you stay okay. the right path, and you gotta eat right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, say, hey, say, say what John be eating when y'all be going out to eat. What does John be eating? John eat a salmon, sal salmon, <laughs> salmon, <laughs> salmon. <laughs> I say salmon. John eat a salmon, salmon. John eat salmon salad. That's it. John eat right? No. John eat no pork. John eat eggs, yogurt, water. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Remember what happened? I would have slept. Remember what happened? Me, I, yeah, I knew, I knew Ron before this. No, I'm talking about you right now. 
As far as next year, how you about to like next year? And what's what's your oh, what's your man. goal this summer to get better? You already better? know what time is coming next season. Boot camp. What's your goal this summer to get better? What are you trying to improve on? Lock in, point guard. <laughs> what am I? You what's your, what's your goals this summer so you come back a better player? Um, to be a leader. So I'm gonna be running the show next year. Right, it's gonna be us. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be us. So. I know I'm at the lead one of the young players, the players that get here. Um, How you gonna lead? Just do everything right. Do everything right and however they, if so they work, work ethic gotta be up here now. Work ethic gotta be up there. Work ethic gotta be up there. Your voice gotta be, and your actions gotta, all that. Okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. All that's gonna be up there. Talk to the young players, let them know, hey, if you hurt, it's about business. We're trying to win, because the way the season going right now, I don't want this to happen next year. Not, like not on your watch? Not I like on that, I like that, Dink. Super good work right now. So how, what should people, what should people be thinking about Dink Paper in the draft? Like, what's the top player they're going to be getting? Um, a player that's going to go 110%, that's all for the team. Um, <laughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> that, want to do that just want to win. Don't care about 20, 30, just want to win, get the job done so the whole team can be happy. I like that. I like what, that. what separates you from being 1, 10, 20? What makes you number one? I can have, I have work the average basketball player. <laughs> I work hard in everything I do. I'm going to go hard in everything I do. I might complain about some stuff, but the job is <laughs> going to get done, and that's what I'm getting out of right now. That's what I'm going to tell the young players, look, bro. I did the same thing. We ain't doing it. We trying to get up here. Talk that talk, man. Talk that talk. Yeah, talk that talk, man. Yeah, we ain't doing that. Flash. So when it's all said and done, what they gonna say about Dink Pay? Dink Pay was. So what's the number one in the 2024, 2025, 2026 draft? The whoever, whoever selected. Dink Pay. Sasha Khalil Pay. <laughs> yeah. This is when we do the college the college dorm, so this is what the team is. This is their college dorm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yo, Mato, this last question for me, bro. Are you uh do you feel like Every game, y'all feel like y'all have like a chip on y'all shoulder in terms of like players trying to go at y'all every single game. Because oh, yeah. I think people like target y'all every game because oh, yeah. the amount of scouts and stuff be in the gym. Like the last game, like the dude got mad because he wasn't getting fouled, so he went and just screamed the hell out of Ron, and Ron fell. Like, he he knew he was doing. He's like, I'm, I did that because he didn't, he didn't give me a foul. The ref said that. I look at it like if you see a dude in front of you that has basically the world in his hands and you have an opportunity to play against him, mm -hmm. go at his neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why I like I don't get mad when they do it because I respect it. Like I do the same thing, so I don't I wouldn't do the chip on in the game I'm chip on with after the fact. And what would they do if they went back to high school and played against the high school team right now? They would be doing the same thing. They would try to dog them. They for sure. To, they would try to embarrass them. So it's the same thing. I ain't gonna lie, I was that guy. <laughs> Cleveland State with no rank, no nothing. At least not my first year there. Every chance I got to go against the top dude, dog them out. It was, it was different, nah, it was different it, era. It was different era. Yeah, like man. the way we had to think was different than the way they think. Cause they play against dudes they going against for four or five years. Me and Norris, we came out the mud essentially. Like we was, I mean, I was a five star. It took me my last year of high school to be a five star. So I didn't have the circuit to to boost me up a little bit. So. When we did see them dudes, we had to be on that time. So I don't get mad at the best that we play against that are like that with them because I'm that way to them too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 32 years old. So uh, I think it's good for them though because next year it's going to be that times 100. Right. So they better get used to it now. No, they don't do nothing extra. Yeah. They do something extra. Yeah. And, and check my young guys. My, my, only, extra out there. my only problem with the situation is when guys are OD talking to, to them. And that's what I was about to ask you. They don't do it to other teams. That's my thing. I watch them yeah, yeah. already, but I watch them every team the last three games they play and they see their tendencies and all that. I never see them dudes talking to nobody else. So don't come to Vegas and talk to these young kids like they crazy when they kids. Like I can never play against night and talk to, talk crazy to them because they, yeah. they teenagers, bro. I'm supposed to dominate them. And if I'm not, it's a, it's a huge issue. So, do you I feel like that? Like, were you shocked about that? Like, when y'all first came no, in, like, seeing like how people talk crazy no, and who, trying to get at them? Who and coach told me, like, 
Because we had a scrimmage against Utah and they were doing that with London. And I was like, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to respond to that? Let them go through it or, or jump in. And he was like, if we get out of control, of course jump in. But let them deal with that. It's part of the development. And so with that, you know, they hold their own. But it hasn't been to a point now where we've had to like jump in with nothing. I think it's part of the development. Like I said, next year, these they're going to be sought out and they're going to be they go into All Star in a few in a few weeks. It's gonna be the same thing there. <laughs> yeah. So, so the roster. Yeah, their roster is O D. Your roster is O D. No cap. Okay, okay relax. So, wait, what's the? Wait, did they make the teams already? Or no. no so we can't save them in a G League game and then they got there in, in our Rising Stars game. We can't be like, oh no, don't do that. No, they gotta go through it. So. No, I can't really only do that because like. They're trying to show a different energy to the scouts, you know, because we have all the scouts on our game, so mm-hmm. that's really why they do it. Mm-hmm. They didn't have to put out a limit in there, What? They didn't have to put out a limit. Oh, got Paolo? <laughs> For what? <laughs> 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 no, he's he, he right in a sense, but I do understand why it's nah, like that. Sharp, and I, I can't say that I wouldn't be turned up more playing against him night if I was a vet, but I would definitely be talking trash and okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. not worth it. Like, yeah, I'm not doing that in any second. But I'm securing myself, so maybe I'll go a different way. Uh, I would, I would, like, uh, Ramsey, last night, he killed us and didn't say a word. I respect that. He didn't say a word. He felt like he was supposed to do that. And them guys, are the, are the guys, like, when people watch them, like, teams want to see a guy like that. If they talking to a kid, they're going to just think that I really like that. You're a front runner. Yeah, you're a front runner. Because when I see you against South Bay or another G League team, it's quiet. I don't see the same energy. So, uh... I respect the going at him and all that, but the talking and to a teenager just don't make sense, especially when you know, you're 25 or 28 years old. Like, not not their peers, you're way older than them. No, no, Loki, I would Loki try to help them, bro, yeah, yeah, to be yeah. honest. I wouldn't say and much. There's been some guys, like I know uh, last year, Emmanuel Moutier taught to Scoot. Uh, certain guys will pull him to the side and say something to him, I think it's dope. Ken Free did that, did that. that. Mm-hmm. a couple of guys, but and I respect that. That's what it's about, it's paying it forward, but. Just the uh, <laughs> talking trash and t- talking trash is cool, but it's when it goes overboard out of like spite or something. I don't know where it's coming from. That's when we're all kind of like, all right, but they told us to let them handle it unless we get out of hand. So that's what we're gonna do. Yep. I think it's a cool opportunity, uh, like John said, just to work with the future. Uh, you know, we was able to live out our dreams. You know, we was able to hear our name called. So to be able to take that knowledge and to share that with them. Um, and it's nice when you have young folks like Ron, like Modest, that want to know, they want to learn, they, they, they want to be great. And so, you know, to be able to pass that on to them, for me, it's just like paying it forward. You know, someone gave me advice, someone helped me, you know, I had college coaches, I had yeah, mentors, and things like that. So to be able to do that for them is great. And to still be able to play, you know, still be able to play at a high level. Not just tell them and show them, to tell them, but to also show them, to be out there in the court with them, to be like, yo, let me show you how to do it. I think that's, that's the best part about it. Yep, and then I think this is a good question for you, and then I'll bring it to Jay, but, like, how close this group is, number one. Like, and especially them, like, you know, essentially people think that, like, you know, when there is rankings and stuff like that involved, like, oh, it's competition amongst them. But they all brothers. Like, I, I've been around, like, without the cameras on. They really rock with each other in terms yeah, of that. Yeah, man, so that's, that's, that makes it easy for us. Um, you know, these two guys are... <laughs> They're not necessarily competing for the top spot, but like these two guys are highly, they were highly recruited in high school, top ranked players. On the draft board, those two guys are highly rated on the draft board, but they genuinely want to make each other better. Um, they genuinely enjoy being around each other. And so it makes it me and John's job easier because when there's envy in the camp, when there's attitudes in the camp, that's tough. These guys, they really like, they rock with each other off the court. This is every day. This is this is not like a new thing. This is, no, this is really every. Real this is it's every scripture. day, bro. They'll so. come in here. Right here. I'll be in my room sleeping. They'll still come in here. John, what's yeah. up, man? Mm. Yeah, modest yeah. text. Yeah. Like, what time are we going to treat me today? Like, I just wanna wanna get better. You know, and Ryan the same way. You know, he wants to know like, yo, what's it like? What's it like preparing for a game? What's it like preparing? You know, for the playoffs, stuff like that. So. To be around guys that want to get better, it makes it easy for us as vets. You know, because like I said, we already kind of lived our dream when it, as far as being drafted and stuff like that. So to have a young person, they're trying to reach their dreams and be genuinely excited and want to know, that makes it like it keeps me up. You know, it keeps, it keeps me young, keeps me energized. It makes me want to go to you know go to practice, go to work every day. It makes it easy for me. 
Yeah. I think sure. with these two especially, uh, when I first came, I'm like, man, they one and two on the draft boards. How is this going to work? Same position almost. Mm-hmm. So I had a lot of questions. Like, how is this going to pan out? And I got here the first day. These dudes are inseparable. Like, they do everything together. Like, and they play different, too. Yeah. So, so that, that makes it easier, too. Yeah, so now he's wearing my, my glasses. Is he blind, Modest? <laughs> You can't see. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was just talking to see, especially their dynamic, and uh, there should be a documentary about these dudes because these dudes hang out every day, and they were the top dudes in the class. I remember we, were, we talked about all the time. Anybody was ahead of us, we was at their neck. We didn't care who they were. We were trying to yeah. make no friends. These None, dudes, zero. These dudes, they battle on the court, and then they be at lunch and dinner right afterwards. Like nothing happened, and that's unique. Like I said, it makes it easier for us. But uh, we got great guys on this team, man. All the young guys just want to buy in and get better. And um, it's our job to continue to help push their dreams. Yep, and then y'all got a 17-year-old on the team. Kind of falling the same. Sure. Yeah, probably knowing Dink for sure. How do you feel like, you know, in terms of them too, like helping Dink and then you guys too as well, like having a person that's going to be here on a two-year process, how do you – yeah, uh, I wasn't here when Scoop did his first year, but the stories I heard was he came in with uh, an elite mindset and a willingness to learn right away, and that's Dink. Um, he's trying to, well, I always told him, without you, man, ain't no Dink Pate coming there at night. Yeah, I can't take credit. Dink is nice, man. I always you know, like this game. Nah, Dink would have been special regardless. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, I appreciate I, that, though. I just like to play with him, but he's unreal athletically, as you know. Point guard, he's six seven. He's already like two ten. He's seventeen he years old. Got a swag. These dudes gas him up like crazy, so he's always on ten. Uh, <laughs> he got an old soul too. Yeah, he know all, yeah. know all the nineties. Know all the nineties music, movies, R and B rap. Like he knows every Tupac song word for word. Like you think he was uh, born in ninety five or something. <laughs> And like you when you came in off camera, he was on FaceTime, he was playing NBA 2K13 with me and Pargo and on the North. PlayStation 3. Oh, so like that's his he's a also, he's a also I think the, the GMs and the teams are gonna love that about him because he brings a different dynamic than most young guys. He's not too big on social media, he's just he's a different dude. Uh, and so I think next year, man, it's gonna be a huge breakout year. And I know it's a bunch of kids in this class is really good. One of them being the Atlanta guy that I that I uh, had a pleasure to see a few times Ace Bailey. Uh, but I think he can be right up there with those guys, top three. And our goal is obviously number one. And he told me six, seven yeah. point guards walking around. Yeah. So he definitely got potential no. to be his number one pick. You know, I told him, I just told him on the phone that uh, I need him in a, at least two weeks in Atlanta. We're gonna have a hell week. We're going to do everything we can this summer to make sure there's no stone unturned for him to get that top pick. Yeah. And then, last question, for all the kids that are trying to follow in, in their footsteps, what can you tell them about, you know, the Ignite? Like, you know, so keep, more kids can be like, yo, you know, I want to come to Ignite, you know, and following that path too. Like, what can you tell them? Man, I want to say this, keep it real with you. Ain't nothing guaranteed coming here. You can't come here and think you're going to be your first round pick. You got to put in the work. Like I said, the G League is the best it's ever been. So if you're ready to put in the work every day and sacrifice all the little things, it's not for you, straight up. But if you like these dudes who want the challenge and they're not scared of nobody and they just come in there ready to work and learn, this is a spot for you for sure because you're going to have best like us to push you every day. Our coaching staff is amazing. Our, our staff in general is amazing. Mm-hmm. Everything they do is, is for us to be great on and off the court. So from that standpoint, yeah, you're not getting the college growing life. You're getting this life, though, uh, yeah. which is which is amazing in it's itself. Uh, it's the real life. <laughs> but uh, you're just going to be a pro from day one, and we're going to hold you accountable, and that's just what it's going to be. But uh, I'll let him go. But yeah, You get all the resources here, too. You get a lot of resources. The league provides us with resources on the court, but also off the court. So, you know, guys are going to learn, you know, about having – Agents, financial advisors, learning how to do interviews, you know, obviously learning how to condition their bodies, condition their mind, learning how to spend their time, how to balance rest, free time, and putting in the extra work. You know, like John said, being a pro. Um, the NBA is different now, and the quicker you can learn the NBA, and the quicker you learn how to function, 
the better it'll be. But there's no guarantee. You definitely have to put put the time in, put the work in. And we have all the resources, you know, here at Unite tonight for you to be successful if you want to put that work in. And I'll, I'll say this too, it's January 30th right now, whatever it is, and when it's June 23rd, don't look at these dudes, shake that man's hand, think it's just, it's just given to you. These dudes is... They've been here for a long time. They've been here since, what, May? I've been here since May? Uh, June, June 2nd. June 2nd. Yeah. And they sacrificed everything for their goals. So don't look at them. They shake their hand on draft night. Don't think that they just walked up there and <laughs> shook his hand for no work. Because they played for two months. No, 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 that's not the case. <laughs> two months of no basketball. So, <laughs> oh yeah, you did. You got the eye thing. Well, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, you was you was here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Early, so you got all the footage. I know you're gonna show it, but if you're ready to come in and work and just be approaching the jump and get all the best tools and I'm not gonna say secrets, but just all the knowledge that everybody has on this team. Our coach played ten years in the league. This is part for you, straight up. 